Hello traders, this is Rich Derry from TradeSite. This is a look at the uh, market leading stocks via our scans for this coming session. This is going to be for Thursday, March 21st, 2013. We had uh, kind of a mixed session today where we had uh, we a uh, big gap up and then the uh, market really couldn't do much with it. What that left us with is kind of a kind of a mishmash of signals here, but let's uh, let's take a look at what we have here. We had uh, some pretty good weakness in Apple today. We do have a, a CPS uh, sell signal. Apple was down about two and a half dollars on the day, so we do have a continuation pressure signal to the downside in Apple. It was on fairly light volume though. A lot of volume in Adobe, and we have a camouflage sell signal in there that did close below the open by a good half of a percent. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that, especially with the uh, post-market news here with uh, Oracle affecting things uh, and gapping down so sharply. Had a volume bump in eBay. eBay does uh, have a CPS signal to the upside. It closed 1.5% above, uh, above the open. Definitely one of the stronger names on the day. First Solar had a, had a strong session too on OK volume, 5% uh, above the open, but it left itself with a differential sell signal because it pulled back a little bit too far off of the high. BlackBerry again still in motion here, pun intended there. <laughs> this is no longer research in motion, but BlackBerry, uh, good volume again, 171% uh, of its of its typical volume, but with a uh, differential sell signal on the chart. Sina also had a big day, uh, three and a half percent above the uh, above today's open, but it was uh, on uninspiring volume. The uh, financials. Uh, de definitely uh, on balance here, better to buy. We've got differential buy signals in, in quite a few names. Uh, one, the one missing ingredient is this is all on fairly light volume. Uh, Visa was the only one that traded above typical volume. That was really notable. And with a the Visa, there's unfortunately no signal. Energy names, uh, kind of a mixed bag here. A couple of buys and a couple of sells. Uh, CHK had a pretty strong day, uh, well above the closing well above the open, and we do have a camouflage camouflage buy signal closing above the uh, open uh, Somberger uh, still uh, still in motion we got a differential buy signal in the slob trading 150 percent of its typical volume so definitely keep an eye on that again tomorrow those stocks remain in play the uh, the generals a um, little bit better for sale here as you can see uh, we've got a couple of different sell signals here we've got a couple of differentials we have a couple of CPSs. The cat was pretty weak today. CAT Caterpillar, and it traded good volume. So keep an eye on that. Deer, very similar company. Uh, twice as typical volume, and about two percent below the open on the close. So definitely keep an eye on those two for follow through to the downside tomorrow. HPQ uh, had a very very weak close, closing well below the VWAP, two and a half percent below the VWAP. So keep an eye on that. That's going to be moving in sympathy. With uh, with the Oracle, I would think. On the on the buy side, uh, we had uh, the defensive kind of minded uh, uh, Walmart was acting with the CPS buy signal. So I can't say the state of the generals. Uh, as far as the housing names go, um, Toll Brothers had a very strong session, three and three quarters percent above the open, on decent volume, and we have a CPS signal to the to the uh, to the buy side. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, FedEx. Uh, wasn't very well received with the uh, earnings. We've got a CPS sell signal in place. Traded a huge, huge volume uh, today, so definitely keep that on on the uh, on the radar. Also, UPS uh, kind of in the same uh, space as FedEx, so that that could have a sympathy move as well. So keep an eye on that. And the commodities, um, nothing really here as far as signals. We've got a differential buy signal in ABX. Definitely keep an eye on that, just because these these stocks have been down. Now. Uh, could be worthwhile tracking and uh, U.S. Steel Letter X traded uh, above average volume and had a fairly fairly poor close. Uh, it was okay versus the VWAP, but uh, but but almost one percent below the uh, open, which is never really good for the chart. All right, folks, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, as always, thanks for listening, and this has been Rich Derek for TradeSite. Hope to see you again soon.